In part 2 of this movie series, we saw how to install the layout integrations for ECAD. In this video, we'll learn about ANSYS A-Links for EDA, and use it to translate geometries from Cadence Allegro products into ANSYS SI-Wave and ANSYS HFSS 3D layout. Layout integrations for ECAD adds ANSYS A-Links menu items in the Cadence and Mentor Board Station user interfaces. For example, you can see that there's now an ANSYS menu item in Cadence Allegro Package Designer. A-Links creates direct links between third-party tools and ANSYS. ANSYS tools support ECAD translations from many different file formats from various third-party vendors. Some of those third-party tools are shown here. You can even directly open some of the more popular file formats, like BRD, MCM, and ODB++ in ANSYS SI Wave and 3D Layout. ANF is a widely used format for ANSYS products. ANF is a public ANSYS neutral file format allowing third-party tools to exchange design data with ANSYS products. ANSYS A-Links can also create ANF files, as well as translating and opening third-party designs in ANSYS products. We'll begin by looking at translation from the Cadence SBB tools. There are two translation paths from Cadence to ANSYS. You can use the ANSYS menu items to translate directly from Cadence using the traditional skill-based interactive GUI. Here ANSYS A-Links acts as the bridge between Cadence and ANSYS. You must have a Cadence license to use this method. Alternatively, there's the Extract A-based interface method. You must have the Cadence software on your machine to run ExtractA.exe, but when you use this method, you don't actually need to launch the Cadence user interface, so no license is checked out from a Cadence license server. Note that the Cadence Allegro free physical viewer is not sufficient. I'll demonstrate both these methods. Using A-Links, we'll translate a Xilinx board from Allegro PCB Designer and directly open it in the ANSYS SI Wave and HVSS 3D layout products. Go to the Start menu and navigate to the Allegro products. Launch the PCB editor. You may need to select which Cadence Allegro license to use. Select the Allegro PCB Designer product and press OK. When Allegro starts, it loads the ANSYS context file that was installed as part of the ANSYS layout integrations for ECAD. The initialization files residing in the Allegro PCB ENV directory call this context file. The context file dynamically creates ANSYS menus in the user interface. Go to File Open. Browse to the Xilinx board file. Select this BRD file. The filter is BRD on this drop-down menu. Click Open. The Xilinx board opens in Allegro PCB Designer. Press F2 to zoom fit. Quickly look through some of the layers. The top layer, signal layers, and the bottom layer tell you what the board looks like. You can see this is a fairly complex design. Select all conductors, planes, and layers. This makes all of the conductors, layers, and planes of the Xilinx board visible. Click the X section icon to open the cross section editor. There are 16 metal layers in total. Seven of them are conductors, and nine are planes. The material property of the dielectric layers is FR4, while all the other layers are copper. Close the cross section editor now. Go to the ANSYS menu. There are options here to launch ANSYS products, including ASI Wave with A Links and HFSS. Select the option Launch SI Wave with A Links. The Start SI Wave dialog appears. Select Use Reference Designators to identify components. This tells SI Wave to determine the type of the parts on the board based on their reference designator names. Click OK. This operation creates an ANSYS SI Wave session and translates the Xilinx board file automatically into ANSYS SI Wave. The SI Wave session opens with a message that design import is in progress. The translator presents a dialog that allows you to select the nets to import from the board file. There are many nets. We'll import all of them. Press the Import Configuration button. The material library, components, buffer models, and so on are all loaded. For this board, SI Wave reads in all the ICs and all the passive circuit elements, including capacitors, inductors, and resistors. After the board appears in SI Wave, it looks like it came in correctly. You can show or hide any of the layers. You can also toggle between an outline or a filled representation of the layers. 
the board is displayed with all of the planes, traces, pads, vias, and circuit elements. Press Ctrl L or just click Layer Stack Up Editor to open it. Let's place the Layer Stack Up Editor in SI Wave and the Cross Section Editor from Allegro side by side for comparison. Observe that all the layers from top, ground, signal, power, to bottom are there in SI Wave. You may notice that the layer thicknesses don't look like they agree. That's because Cadence is showing them in units of mils, while SI Wave is using millimeters. You can adjust the units in SI Wave here. Now the thicknesses match. The same is true for the material properties. Dielectric layers in Allegro have no names and appear as unnamed instances in SI Wave. Clearly, ANSYS A Links has translated the Allegro board file into SI Wave accurately. If you want, you can save this file. This concludes Part 3. In Part 4, we'll use A Links to convert BRD files into ANF and CMP formats.